Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. My name is Wendy. For some of you guys that don't know me, and here comes my little destroyer. Come here, Noah. No! Hey, is this me or Noah? <laughs> Noah? Dámelo. The little bolita. He's gonna fight me. Oh, <laughs> Getting ready to put, put the kids to bed. It's already their bedtime. I'm gonna read this book. <gasps> Elf wow. on the Shelf. <laughs> Sit down. Noah's gonna read? Noah's gonna read to A us. Christmas tradition. ¿Qué dice Noah? Bob, Bob, Bob. Where is, where's the elf? Wow. Um, we're gonna read the kids' this little bedtime story and then I'm gonna decorate um, my stockings and my wreath. Wreath. That's how you say it, guys. Wreath. I was saying wreath and someone corrected me, which I don't mind. Please tell me how to say it. If you do it in a nice way, I don't mind if you correct me. I was saying wreath. That's how I say it. It's wreath. Wreath. Did you know that? No, I thought uh, it was I red. just call it door decoration. <laughs> Door decoration, but this lady was very nice. She even like spelled it out how to like pronounce it, wreath, like C, wreath, wreath. I'm probably still saying it wrong. If you're teaching somebody how to say it correctly without being rude or like, because somebody else was like, ha ha ha, that's not how you say it. I'm like, okay, but how do you say it? Like, I still don't know, and that wasn't very nice, but it's okay to correct people, but be nice. You know? Don't be a Grinch. Yeah, don't be a Grinch. <laughs> okay, so I'll come back after we read this little story and I will decorate with you guys again. I will do the DIY part. So see you soon. The kids are finally asleep. Ahora sí ya puedo empezar a hacer todo esto porque Noah's not like trying to pull my leg or grab everything as you guys saw. I have this the stuffing. Oh my god, the stockings. And here's my Cricut presser. And my wreath, wreath. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and print out the stuff for this first, and then I can just do everything all together. The laptop. I have all of our initials: Joseph, Wendy, Noah, and Emma. And I'm gonna go and print that out on my Cricut. So for in order to do easy press, you need special paper. And I. I ordered this one from Amazon. It's just a heat transfer vinyl sheet. So I'm gonna do them in the color. Do you guys think I should do red or black? No, black's not gonna stand out. I think I'm gonna do red. You guys think I should do red? I think so. I think I'm gonna do red so they can stand out. So. so this is gonna be my second time actually using the Cricut press the first time was when I did my sweater I just haven't had time to practice guys but I've been ordering lots of materials and stuff so so when you use this type of material you have to place it upside down I put on my mat upside down iron on there's a lot of like little steps and now we're gonna print this let's make this and let's make sure we mirror it. It is 11 p.m. and yo aquí tomándome un cafecito. Like, <sighs> this is the only time I can actually work really good because Joseph helps me and watches Noah. I feel if I just hear Noah like crying and stuff, I want to go attend him and no me puedo enfocar bien en haciendo mis cosas. So I, I always wait till he goes to sleep. My husband doesn't like it when I work. I really lay and I get it like but that's the only time I can really really focus because if not may I go like men's I'm like like today I was like okay I'm gonna work on some cups but I was like and I mean I had to make breakfast and then like Joseph had to was working out so then I watched Noah and I played with him and Emma was doing school so and during the day I just get distracted and I had to make lunch and then I had to make dinner and like at night I rather when everyone is sleeping the house is quiet, there's no TV, there's nothing. Like, I can focus and get stuff done. Who else does everything at night when their kids go to sleep? Because 
I know a lot of you guys do probably because you know those kids are I'm just kidding guys like I love my kids and I rather like dedicate my time to them during the day and then just dedicate myself to doing this at night Done, but I think the W might be just a little bit too big. I didn't even measure it, I just did it. But let's see. So here's the stocking, and then this is a letter that's one of them. They're all gonna look pretty okay. The W is fits pretty good, so I don't have to remake it. So that's what it's gonna look like. And right now, I'm going to um, turn on the heat presser and then just press them on, and that's it. my like heating board it's just like a little cushion it's kind of like an ironing board and you just put it under it's still heating up so i'm waiting for this it usually beeps i just want to place like a cotton or like a piece of cloth over it just so that the sticker doesn't or the plastic doesn't get stuck to the ironing board but first, before you put this, you want to prep it just for like 15 seconds. Final results. Now we're just gonna peel this off. I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a little bit hard. But that's it. We turned a one dollar stocking into a $15 stocking love that and I think the red like pops out a lot so I'm glad I chose the red look how cute I'm gonna be hanging them right here So shook that how good they came out like I didn't even measure them so I was surprised that they actually looked good I'm so proud of myself <laughs> no but for reals it's not that hard to do next time you guys know so don't buy like super expensive I know you could even use a regular iron and and you can even buy like these type of things from um, like Walmart and stuff like letters and you could just do it yourself this one so we're gonna start on this so these are the like hooks that i had gotten at um what's it called hobby lobby okay they are hung up and they look so cute so these are the hooks i need to find some like tape that's gonna keep it together i know they have like velcro or something tape i need to go get some of that because right now i'm just using like scotch tape but let me know what you guys think of them did you like them yes no so let's get started on this i don't think i'm gonna hot glue everything anything i'm just gonna like tie it around or like kind of make it go in between all this stuff so if you guys don't know i got this at hobby lobby for um it was 11.99 but it was 50 percent off so it was like six bucks
think I'm all done. It didn't even take me that long. And I did not use tape or glue or nothing. I just literally wrapped everything in between like the branches. The branches are very bendy. And then I just used like a string to tie the Merry Christmas. And then these ornaments, they have like strings. You just like weed, weed it in between like the branches as well. So I'm going to go hang this outside and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Short people problems. <laughs> it actually came out so cute. Let me see if I can hide this right here. Hopefully this crazy wind doesn't blow it away. Or anything away, I'll be so sad. Super easy guys. Everything was like less than this was a dollar, that was like a dollar fifty cents. One dollar, one dollar, and then six dollars. So. I also just got this at a Target. And then it has like a little candy cane. Just for like something fun for like the kids for when they wake up. And then they see the countdown for Christmas. That's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video. Don't forget to um, share it with your friends and share it with your family. And try it out guys. It's not that hard. It looks more complicated than what it is. Sometimes we're just lazy and we just want to buy it already made. But like this, you make it exactly how you want. You put the colors that match exactly with your house. So, oh, before I forget, the emoji of the day. Okay, let's do... Okay, since it's like midnight already, let's do a moon. So, let's do a moon emoji. I'll leave it right here, which one. So, you guys know what to do. Look, my eyes are like so red because I'm tired. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your support in these couple of videos for Vlogmas. I love you guys so much. And I read all your comments and they're so sweet. Thank you guys for your support.